This is Jay Big Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we are going to show you how to activate an existing array in the Perk H200 RAID controller. Um, so if your RAID controller failed and you were getting like a PCIe training error, and now you've actually replaced the Perk H200 RAID controller, the physical card in your system, um, you're going to see an error that pops up uh, like this one. Um, it's, gonna, it's going to say... Um, integrated rate exception detected, um, volume HDL 079 is currently in a state, inactive, optimal. Enter this, the Dell 6 gigabit per second SAS controller configuration utility to investigate. So that's the H200 rate controller. Um, and so when you see that, that means that your replacement card is actually working, uh, but you need to basically go in and activate it. So when you see this, go ahead and hit control C to invoke the SAS configuration utility. Once you do that, um, it's going to bring us into the actual utility. And from there, we can activate that array. So uh, we see the Perk H200, H200A. Go ahead, go ahead and hit Enter on that. And then arrow over to RAID Properties. Hit Enter on that. Hit Enter on View Existing Volume, because this is the old RAID configuration that you created with your card that failed. And then hit enter on manage volume because you can see that those drives are currently inactive right now. So we need to make them active. Arrow down to activate volume and hit enter. Okay, and then you're going to have to hit Y to activate the volume and exit this menu. And right now it's activating your RAID volume. All right, so now we're going to go back into the RAID properties by hitting enter just to verify that we're in a rebuilding state. And it doesn't actually say rebuilding, but it does say drive status primary and secondary, so that's good. Um, they are RAID disks now, and then you'll see that our, our status is optimal. Uh, we just have to let the system initialize in the background. So it says 0%. Um, so now we can actually reboot and go back into our operating system. The system's gonna run a little bit slower than normal. That's okay, that's normal. So we'll go ahead and keep hitting exit until you exit the configuration utility. And once you have done that, you have completed um, the swap. So you've activated your old RAID, um, you, you know, you're ready to do everything like normal. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please, con please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.